Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to quickly show you how to set up a sewing machine In order to set up your sewing machine, the steps to follow are so simple and they do not have to stress you out. So do follow these instructions in order to have um, great success with creating your own clothes. Enjoy. Thank you very much. This here is a very good entry level machine. And most entry level machines these days are quite good for beginners. And this one here is really good because it's computerized, which I really wish I had when I was learning how to sew. <laughs> First thing you need to do is you need to plug your machine some electricity so you need to get some power into it now that I have my machine um, nicely plugged in I'm going to switch on the button on the side and then it's going to power up my machine most entry-level machines have your simple straight stitch your zigzag stitch and your bottom hole stitch you need to get some thread in the machine this machine here has something we call a bobbin. This is going to go on the inside of the machine and I'm going to wind some thread around it. Some machines come with bobbin winders and some don't. Most machines do, but some of them aren't as good as, you know, if you've bought a second hand machine, it might not have that function working properly. So what you need to do is make sure you follow the instructions that come along with your sewing machine. My one here requires for me to put my thread here so you'd have the thread holder it needs to be covered to make sure that the thread doesn't fly away whilst you're sewing then I'll follow the instructions that come on, on top of my machine here we have for, so for winding the bobbin you would have a set of instructions on the side and for actually threading the machine you'd have a different set of instructions so I'm just going to follow the step-by-step -step instructions number one is here for both sides so I need to go in this way round here and around so I've gone, I've gone number one here number two there number three here and around and then number four is to put this through the bobbin. And on this instruction, the picture, the image there says to put the thread through the hole there on the bobbin. And then pull through. When you pull through, you then go ahead to put your bobbin into this little holder there and push it in. So once that's pushed in, you can start winding your thread. So it's nice to have a bit of thread holding on the side so it doesn't run off. Next step is to step on the foot. There's a pedal on the floor, I'm just going to press on the pedal and that's what's winding up the thread. Okay, so I've got quite a lot of thread there, so I'm just going to push it to get the bobbin out. When I get it out, cut this there, so I have my bobbin full of thread. So the next step now is to make sure that I follow the instructions again to actually thread the machine. First set of instructions is to wind a bobbin, the next set of instructions is to actually thread the machine to get it working, because you need thread going from the top of the machine and you need thread coming from the bottom and they both intertwine to create stitches on your fabric and that's how you sew really <laughs> sewing is so easy the machines these days are so clever they make it so easy for us to sew so now I follow the instructions I've done number one number two I've come down number three here and this is number four and I go around for number five and then down again okay so this is the part that differs for a lot of machines here I have a hook pass this through the loop and then I'm going to hook this in because I have a threader this sewing machine comes with a threader not all machines do if yours doesn't then you have to do it manually but this one does have a threader so I'm just going to thread it my advice is to follow the instructions that come along with your sewing machine and your, your life will be much easier 
or search for videos online showing you how to thread your machine. So next thing to do is to put your bobbin into the bobbin holder. There's a bobbin, the bobbin case underneath here. I'm going to loop this around to hold it in place. Just follow the instructions really. Yeah, and when that goes in that way, so, so this wheel on the side of the machine, when I turn it, it then interlocks with the bobbin thread. Once I've done that, I can then pull through to get my thread up. When my thread comes up, I'm good to sew. I have both threads now. Okay, so this machine is nicely set up, ready to sew. So the most important things to know, plug your machine in, make sure it's nicely plugged in on the side, plug both sides this this cable here is for the foot the pedal and this here is for the power this is the power cable and that's the pedal cable and that's what you use to operate your machine the bobbin has been threaded and then I've, I've threaded my actual sewing machine once the machine is nicely threaded the next thing to do is to actually start sewing and I advise people all the time don't don't waste time just go straight into it start testing out different stitches getting used to controlling your pedal so now i've got some fabric here i've just folded over my fabric and i'm going to just play around with it if you're worried about using your, your precious fabric use old bed linen that you don't really need or that you won't really miss so i have my fabric here i folded my fabric over put it in there very easy just pu put it underneath the presser foot if there's a, a little bar there pull it down when i pull it down i would have my machine ready to sew in order to control your sewing machine it's nice to actually turn the wheel in and if you notice i pushed my threads both threads to the back of the presser foot really really key don't forget that so now I have this put I'll pull I'm gonna turn this wheel down when I have it turned down I can start operating my sewing machine so you can see now yeah I've pushed my foot down and it started to sew if your sewing machine comes along with a control a speed control now will be the best time to um, actually activate it when you're starting to sew you really need to make sure you go slow otherwise the machine you, it'll take a while for you to get used to the speed of the machine i really wish my first ever sewing machine had speed control because <laughs> it took me a while to get used to the speed but anyway you push this back that way otherwise if yours doesn't have a speed control just make sure you do not push too far down um, on the pedal it's a bit like driving <laughs> it's just a bit like driving so really softly push for softly on your pedal and it starts to move. I'm about to turn a corner, so I'm going to lift my foot here, turn my fabric around, and then keep moving. So and that's basically what I'm doing. And with this speed control on this sewing machine, I can push down on the pedal on the actual foot of the sewing machine and the machine will just keep going at this slow at this slow pace but if I didn't have the speed control it would go at um, the speed of the sewing machine would be dependent on how far down I press my foot on the pedal so there we have it stitching along you cannot sew this unless this foot is down it has to be down and that's my straight stitch so I have straight stitches, I'm locking both fabrics together and that's how you create a seam really. So in order to go faster, if I push this all, watch what happens, see it goes faster. If I have this at the fastest speed, it would, it, I could lose control of the sewing machine. So do not forget that. So when you come to the end of a stitch, please remember to back stitch. Every machine has a different backstitch <laughs> location. This one here is a simple button because it's a computerized machine. So press down on this and it goes back to lock the stitch. But if yours has a backstitch control on the side, some have backstitch controls on the side of the machine. My first machine had, had the backstitch on the side of the machine. So they all differ, they're all different. 
so just follow the manual on your sewing machine so this is pretty much set up so have you noticed that I had to turn this wheel in order to lift the needle because if the needle is still down you can't get your fabric out so um, I've turned this around lift the needle pull this up and then pull my fabric out now this machine here is so good it's got a thread cutter which is really good and handy but then if yours doesn't have a thread cutter just have a pair of scissors on the side to cut your thread wait make sure the thread is cut and make sure to pull out quite a lot of thread otherwise you would have to re-thread your machine so I have the thread yeah I have my thread and I make it a habit to make sure that your threads are behind the presser foot so both threads the upper thread and the bottom thread and um, if you have both threads on that side you're good to go so now we've created a seam by sewing both fabrics together and that really is how to set up a sewing machine so there we have it both of them are locked together when you're learning how to sew when you use a sewing machine if you do not like something unpick it unless you're working with really um, with technical fabrics or you know leather step by step fabric in this way pull down this bar push the needle down in down the machine the needles down threads are at the back two or three stitches forward click on the back stitch same number backwards and then go I am using I'm using the edge of my presser foot as a guide so I can go in a straight line and there we have it so back stitch Turn the wheel up, lift the bar, pull your fabric out, cut some of the thread and then pull some more thread out and push it to the back of the machine. That's it. Make it a habit to always have thread pulled out and pushed to the back so that your threads won't cause a bit of a tangle when you're sewing your stitches and you won't have to re-thread the machine because it can get caught up if your threads are a bit short. So now that's our straight stitch our sewing machine works we've got our straight stitches working now if it all depends on what type of sewing machine you have but most sewing machines come with your standard straight stitches and your zigzag stitches if you want to change over to a different stitch like a zigzag stitch all you need to do is follow the instructions in the manual of your sewing machine so with this sewing machine here our zigzag stitch comes on the six here so I've selected the zigzag stitch I have my threads at the back I have my the edge of my fabric right underneath the presser foot pull the presser foot down and start stitching and that really is it you would also have some buttons on the side of your sewing machine you can use those buttons to increase the length of your stitch or reduce it you could also use those buttons to um, change the position of your needle or your stitch width if you're doing a zigzag stitch and that's how you set up a sewing machine easy peasy I really hope you enjoy your new sewing machine and if you have any questions do let me know in the comments section